Well, good morning, friends. I'm reporting to you today from a nice snowy woodland scene here in Middle Tennessee on the Cumberland Plateau at about 700 meters or 2,100 feet of elevation. This is a classic temperate zone hardwood forest. And some of you who follow me regularly may, under, may recognize this as a place where we do a lot of our research on mosquitoes during the summer. But we're not studying the mosquitoes right now because it's winter. Does that mean the mosquitoes are not here? That's a question many people often ask. No, they're here, just like all the other insects that are around in the summertime. It's just that they go into inactivity periods during the winter time, and they do it in a variety of ways so that they are able to uh, endure the cold weather, to endure freezing, which might otherwise be fatal to them, and then to come out in the spring when things warm up again and continue their activity, which is unfortunately feeding on us and on our pets and on our other animals. So where are they? What are the mosquitoes doing? Well, it varies a lot. Mosquitoes are not all one sort of thing. Mosquitoes are as diverse as the birds you see around you, as the mammals you see around you. Uh, there are many different kinds, each one living in its own habitat, eating in its own way, breeding in its own way, and each of those has a different way of under overwintering. The most common ones that we see here in these woods are Aedes triceriatus, Aedes hendersoni. These are mosquitoes that can carry terrible diseases like lacrosse virus and some others. But they're what are called tree hole mosquitoes. They breed in little holes where the limbs meet the trees uh, in the forest and the eggs hatch and the adults come out and fly around and, and feed on you. So mosquitoes are a lot like butterflies. They have a, an egg stage, a larval stage, which is always in the water, a pupil stage, and then they metamorphose into the adult that goes around feeding. So while you think of mosquitoes as being terrestrial, in fact, they are mostly aquatic insects. They mostly are, they spend most of their lives, I should say, living in various types of bodies of water. So these woodland mosquitoes often live in the little holes in the trees. Uh, a lot of these insects can overwinter as eggs. Freezing is deadly to almost any mosquito, even those that live in the Arctic. So whether you're here in the temperate latitudes, down in the tropics where we work a lot in the Caribbean, or in another location, uh, you're going to find that the adults are very sensitive to freezing. But that's not true of the eggs. The eggs are able to resist a complete freezing. They're able to resist uh, the, the loss of water during droughts. And they are a stage that often is responsible for keeping the population alive when things seem to be hostile in terms of the environmental conditions. Some mosquitoes actually overwinter as larvae, living down in the bottoms of ponds. Others overwinter as adults. In fact, occasionally when you're walking through your house uh, or into your cellar in the middle of January or the middle of February, you'll encounter a mosquito, usually a Culex mosquito, that they will come into warm places, whether it's your house or your basement, or in natural settings, they will live under logs or they will live in burrows of other animals, or they may live even in caves, depending on where you are in the world. The point is they're still active, they're still alive, they're still very much a part of our beautiful ecosystems, and unfortunately, many of them are still a major threat to human and animal health. And so that's why even during the winter time, we remain very aware of them, knowing that as soon as the weather warms, we'll be at it again, trying to avoid their bites, trying to avoid their spread of diseases among our neighbors and again, among our animals. So I'll be reporting to you later on this summer when it gets time for the mosquitoes to actually be out and on the wing. Until then, have a beautiful winter.